Hey, I'm Kevin and welcome to day two of our Baritone Beginner Series, level two. So in today's lesson, we're gonna check out a new chord and kind of add to what we did in day one with a strumming pattern and spend most of our time playing together. So get yourself tuned up and let's get to it. Hey, before we get started, do me a little favor and make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel here. Click that alert bell so you know when the next video is coming your way. And if you'd like more learning resources, head over to allforyouk.com where I have practice tracks, worksheets, and other learning resources to help advance your playing. So staying with our theme, we're gonna keep exploring some seventh chords. So today, the chord that I selected is the B7 chord. So B7 is played with our index finger here on the D string of the first fret our middle finger on the G string of the second fret, and our ring finger on the E string of the second fret. And it sounds like this. Now something that I wanna to mention to you here is my hand position. So my hand position, rather than keeping my hand very flat with my fingers parallel to the frets, I like to actually turn my hand towards the headstock. And the reason I do that is because for me, it creates nicer spacing with my fingers. So when you're trying to execute this chord, try turning your hand a little bit towards the headstock. So your index finger is actually kind of wedged here between the end of the neck and the headstock of the instrument. So when you play this, you should be able to keep your fingers nice and upright. You should see your fingernails kind of facing right back at you as you play this chord. So again, strum through this chord here with me once, just so you can make sure all of the notes are ringing out nice and clean and clear. That's something I always like to do with my chords, is just kind of pluck each string to make sure all of the notes sound nice and clean. So that's the chord we're gonna work on today. So for the first little exercise that we're gonna do here, we're gonna just switch back and forth between this B7 chord and our E7 chord that we worked on in day one. So we're gonna do this with a four count single strum. This is really just to focus here on our chord change. So I want all of your attention here to be on your fretting hand as you do this. We're gonna work through this nice and slow. So here we go with a four count in, starting on our B7 chord. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, E7. Two, three, four, B7. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, again. Two, three, four, E7. Two, three, last time, B7. Two, three, four, E7. Two, three, four. So something that I like to do when I'm just working on a new chord progression is a lot of times you can do this whether you're sitting in front of the TV or distracted by something else, just to work on your fretting hand is kind of just take a lot of repetitions moving between chords. So maybe it's not E7 and A7 or B7, maybe it's some other chord that you're working on right now. But if you're working on a progression, it's always nice kind of just to Spend some time focusing on your fretting hand here to make sure you're keeping your fingers nice and close to the fretboard and you're really landing with all of your fingers at the same time. I see that a lot with my students where you kind of try to build the chord as you go and you really wanna to try to stay away from that. You want all of your fingers to land simultaneously on the chord. You're really trying to form this chord above the string so that when you lay down your fingers, it all happens at the same time. So now we're gonna get back into the strumming pattern. So we're gonna keep using the strumming pattern from day one, which if you remember is down, down, up, clap, up, down, up. So again, we count that one, two, and three, and four, and. So to start off here, we're gonna just hold down our B7 chord and we're just gonna strum through this maybe four or five, six times just to kind of get comfortable with the strumming pattern again. So I'll count us in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, again, two, and three. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. If 
you like the sound of this sweet uke that I'm playing today, which is a Makala MKB uke made by Kala, you can support our channel by buying your Kala ukulele at allforuke.com slash shop. All right, so let's put this into play now. So we're gonna go back and forth between the B7 and the E7 chord here. So if you need to practice that switch a couple times before we start, we're gonna do the strumming pattern two times per chord. Kind of nice and methodical here. Relax, we're playing the uke together, have some fun. The baritone sounds so sweet. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One. time. Time for some metronome here. So for this next progression, we're gonna do something that's gonna kind of resemble a blues. Well, it is a blues progression because we're using seventh chords in a 12 bar blues format here. So the progression will go starting on the E7, and then we'll move to A7, which we used in our last lesson, back to E7, and then we go B7, A7, and then we end on the E7. So we're gonna do this with a metronome at 88 beats per minute. So follow me, have some fun with this one, and make sure you're paying attention to the blue bar for the number of times to do each strum. So here we go, starting on the E7. One, two, three, four. Last progression of the day here. We're gonna do this again. 100 beats per minute. Have some fun with this one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Thanks so much for joining me for day two of our Baritone Beginner Series, level two. I hope you're having some fun with this one. Make sure you leave your comments below if you have any feedback, any chords or strumming patterns that you'd like to see in the future videos, and leave your flag. Let me know where you're playing the Baritone Uke with me. Again, if you like this Kala Baritone Uke, you can check this out at allforuke.com shop. My name's Kevin. Thanks so much for learning with me. I'll see you next time.